Hey, what, what's going on guys? Ryan Moffitt here with today's vlog. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about the role of uh, time management in your uh, recovery process. And uh, just recently I was watching a, a sermon online from a guy named Matt Chandler. And he was talking to dads and he was he was pretty fired up and he was saying it's important uh, men and I would I would expand this men women teens kids doesn't matter your uh, gender doesn't matter your age but he was saying to men it's an, it's important that we go to bed tired and uh, and what he meant is we don't need to conserve our energy we don't need to uh, take the easy way out all the time we don't need to figure out how to get more couch time more time away from doing hard things. He says, you know, we need to be pouring our lives and our time and our resources and our energy and our passion into uh, not only our work, but also our families, our spouse, our kids. And uh, as a pastor, I uh, I constantly talk with folks. And when I uh, just ask them about their passions, what is it that's driving your life? What What is it that you're excited about? There's two places uh, practically that we can look at that will tell us exactly what your passions are. And that is your time. That is uh, how you budget your, your schedule, but also your finances. And that's how you budget your money. Your, and both those two things, time and money, over and over and over again, uh, show us where your passions are at. And so in time management with your recovery plan, what you're saying when you budget in uh, 60 minutes, 90 minutes to go to a uh, small group, what you're saying is, I value this in my life enough to give this 90 minutes. And I'll tell you what, giving it 90 minutes is an amazing investment because what you're saying is not only am I saying yes to that, but when you say yes to this, what do you end up doing? You end up saying no to a bunch of other things. And so when you budget in time into your personal recovery, into your uh, health, into your mental, spiritual, physical, mental, relational health, when you say, I value that, um, you end up not only saying yes to it, but you say no to a lot of other things. And I'll tell you this, part of the confusion as I look at the landscape of uh, what is happening and why so many addictions today and why so many issues like never before as it relates to drug and alcohol addiction, food addiction, uh, pornography addiction, I'll tell you this, I think it is one of the most bored societies we have ever had in the history of the world. We're just bored. We're entertained to death. We are so busy consuming that we have forgotten that at our core, how God has wired us, we are made to be not just consumers, but producers. And I was looking in Genesis chapter 1 when God made Adam and Eve, and he told them, hey, I'm going to put you in the garden. He told them a few things. He says, I want you to subdue it. Uh, which is an interesting word. It means that there's something going on that needs uh, it needs care. It needs order. He says, I want you to have dominion over it, uh, which is a statement of, of stewardship. And he says, I want you to rule. And I, I actually want you guys to partner with me, Adam and Eve, uh, to bring about God's kingdom, God's ethic, God's qualities, God's kingdom on earth as it's being done in heaven. And so, Right before sin ever entered the world, this is before the serpent, this is before all the bad stuff, we see God putting man on the earth not to just be a consumer. So Adam and Eve aren't sitting around bored all day going, can we watch another show on Netflix today? They are there and they are working the garden. And I'm telling you, as you pursue health, as you pursue your uh, recovery and your sobriety, part of what's going to create a momentum for you is when you stop becoming a primarily just a consumer of things and you become a producer, a healthy person contributing to society. And I'll tell you this at the just to close today, some of the um, most amazing recoveries I've seen are not just when someone gets clean, get sober. It's when they move from uh, just their own personal sobriety, that's the, uh, that's the putting off, getting rid of, um, and when they move all the way to a healthy individual is when they join others to help them. That's when you become a producer. So it's not just about you getting out of your little addiction. It's about you becoming healthy to be a part of bringing God's best for somebody else. 
And that is where time management happens. And so see your time today as a resource. God has given it to you today and you get to steward it. So, so steward in a way that accurately reflects his kingdom, his purpose, his values. Anyway, hope you're doing awesome and God bless you in your process. See ya.